Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Mama Dr. Jones, a board certified OBGYN, a mom to four, and today we need a laugh. It's been a rough week and I needed to do something a little bit light. So today we are going through a Saturday Night Live parody compilation of feminine product skits. Some of them are funny, some of them are cringy, and all of them, uh, are in this video. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's jump into the video. Excuse the audio quality here, as well as the weird jump cuts. NBC decided to completely block this video from upload in its original form. And it was a really good video and had some really good information in it. So I didn't want to completely take it down. So I've tried to rework it enough to where they wouldn't block it from upload. Like they wouldn't even let me post it not monetized or give them all the AdSense. They just said like, no, we don't want doctors adding relevant doctor information to our content. So anyway, I've tried to get around that and we'll see if they let me upload it. I wanted a birth control that takes a limo, not the city bus. That's why we chose NuvaBlade. The discreet yet diamond encrusted ring that inserts neatly into the vagina. I love the name. I want to know how it gets in there and how you keep it clean. Well, that's as sexy as you are. Then why not reach for NuvaBlade? Nuva Bling provides a continuous low dose of warmth. I love that they also use actual medication names. They have Nuva Bling and Etonogestrel, which is a type of progestin, and Ethanol Estradiol, which is a type of estrogen, which is actually what would be in a Nuva Ring. And a mega dose of Fab Boosh. It's pizzazz that slides right up into my choach. Nuva Bling is 70% effective at preventing pregnancy and 100% effective at getting that swag on. Look at all the little sperm and their happy faces. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong with this one, but he needs to have that checked out. Plus, you can customize Nuva Bling by adding your own fierce and glamorous charms. And instead of throwing Nuva Bling away each month, you can reuse it as jewelry. Did you get those earrings at Tiffany's? That is so funny. In residency, we had all of these fake IUDs and we actually made them into jewelry, like with little earring clips and stuff. And we used them for like stupid parties or Halloween or whatever. Close. I got them from my vagina. <laughs> so wow up that womb. Lamb up that clam. And shine up that giant. <laughs> with new bubbling. <laughs> Say goodbye to the same old birth control with Nuva Bling. And yeah, it does hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really what Nuva Ring commercials are like. I'm sorry, Nuva Ring. I love the bell. It's so complicated. I love the snaps. This one's a classic. The next big thing. So although that is funny, and I'm very glad that we have innovated products since then, the sanitary belt was actually a very revolutionary product at the time, and it gave people a lot more freedom. It was actually invented and patented in 1956 by an African-American inventor named Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner, and it was extremely innovative and important for the time because it gave people a ton of freedom that they didn't have before because the pads would actually stay in place instead of having a menstrual rag that moved around. Unfortunately, when she initially presented this to a company, they loved it and then ended up turning it down because she was black. Obviously, she went on to be able to market that, but it was a big problem. So I think this is an important tidbit of history that people should know. Mary Kenner really revolutionized how people were able to function while they were on their period. Thousands of women are discovering the next generation of freshness with Woomba, the first fully automated, completely robotic feminine hygiene product. Oh my god, I'm horrified. That is terrifying. I love my Roomba. It is the best thing I've ever spent money on. I somehow think I would not enjoy a Woomba. It cannot be turned off. It cannot be turned off. You can just be assaulted by your Woomba at any moment. No worries. New annual extends the time between your period by 11 months. Each annual pack has 44 weeks of active pills. Okay, I think there's actually a birth control called annual. No, apparently not. Just an SNL skin. Instead of the usual three keeping you on a constant stream of hormones so your time of the month can be just once a year. 
That's all I have time for. This must be before continuous use contraception was widely done because this is like not even that funny because you could do that. Most people would not be able to go that long without a period because they'd end up having breakthrough bleeding. But if you're on continuous pills and you're not having bleeding, it's completely safe to continue taking them. Take if you are using MAOI inhibitors or if your occupation requires you to operate heavy machinery. Do not take any well if you plan to ever become pregnant as it may turn your baby into a fire monster. In the days of laundry period, you may develop a monthly tail and you all may cause you to develop a second vagina. Notify authorities in one town when your period is imminent as they may want to incarcerate you preemptively like a wolf man. You can't develop it from a birth control pill, but there are people who have two vaginas in a situation where they have an MRKH defect or a Mullerian abnormality, and they can have a duplicated uterus, which we've discussed, but in rare situations, you can also have a duplicated vagina. Most of the time it's duplicated to like two thirds, the top two thirds, because that is functionally like embryologically when you develop, it develops from a different place than the lower third of the vagina. So you usually can't tell from the outside. And most people, when they first start having intercourse or anything in the vagina, they will develop one that is like the dominant side and they may go their whole life without even knowing that there was another side in there that they didn't know about. Annual, once a year, period. Oh, that's a play on words. I just got that. Shut up! Oh! I love that they use actual medications in these. From the makers of Summer's Eve comes Autumn's Eve Pumpkin Spice Douche. The first intimate care wash with all the bold, spicy flavors of fall. Of that warm, inviting scent that reminds you of your mom. I hate it as much as I hate actual Summer's Eve. <laughs> Thanks to Autumn's Eve. Now my personal area can smell like Thanksgiving all season long. That visual is horrible. Autumn's Eve. From the makers of St. Patrick's Eve Shamrock Douche. And Christmas Eve Peppermint Douche. I didn't know that's where that commercial was going, and now I will never drink a pumpkin spice latte again. I hope you got a laugh. I hope you learned a little bit of something today. If you want to watch another video, I will link a playlist right over here. If you're new and you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss an upload, and I will see you next Monday.